Hello everyone, this is Miss Briscoe here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Brain Pop account and how to join my class. What you're going to do is you're going to click up into your web browser and you are going to type in brainpop.com. And where it'll bring you, it is it'll bring you to the home page for Brain Pop. Brain Pop is a really great website that has lots of movies, activities, games, and information on all different subjects. As you can see, there's science, social studies, English, math, engineering and technology, health, arts, and music. Throughout your year, you might use Brain Pop for research to find information on topics you are interested in or that you are researching. And there will be times that I will ask you to come and watch a video. So what you're going to do to join our class and to create your account is you're going to come up here to the top right hand corner and click enter code. The code to join our class is going to be Briscoe 5. So it'll be my last name and the number 5. After you type that in you're going to click submit. It'll bring you to a page where you can sign in. Some of you may have a BrainPop account. Most of you will not so you'll have to create a new BrainPop account. If you do have one, you'll just put in your student na your username and your student password. If not, you're going to come down here where it says sign up now. And what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you will just sign on. You're going to create your account and this is free. So you'll put in your first name, you'll put in your last name, you'll create a username and password. It might be helpful to use your Canvas username and password, so it's one less password you have to remember. But if you don't remember, or if you don't want to use your Canvas username and password, and you want to make up your own, just make sure you write it down somewhere because I will not have access to your username and password. I will not be able to give it to you if you forget it. It's going to ask you to retype your password, and you'll do a security question and a security image, and you will click Create Account. After you create account, you will have access to everything on BrainPop. So let me go ahead and log in under mine so I can show you all of the really fun things that BrainPop has to offer. So as you can see, same, same screen that you're going to see when you log in. So, for example, if I wanted to watch a video on energy, I could type energy up here in this right-hand corner and click search. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me all kinds of topics on energy, and I can pick a topic that I would like to watch about energy. So let's go ahead and do wind energy. When I come to wind energy, it's going to come up with a video and there's going to be a video I can click on to watch. I can make my video full screen. I can do it back down. I can add captions on the screen so that I can see what they're saying. Uh, dear Tim and I can pause it. These movies are great. They give you great information about what you're looking for and they have two main characters in them, Tim and Moby, which is a guy in a robot that gives you all the information. So you'll have, there's quizzes you can take to see how well you think that you learned the information in the video. There's activities, there's little make a maps, so there's little charts you can use to help organize all of the information. Now if you want to go back home to brainpop.com homepage and say you're not quite sure what you want to watch, you could click on social studies and you can see what videos do they have in social studies. So let me see what type of videos they have under US government and law. And it'll list all the different videos. Now you don't have to worry about the ones that say free or not free because you have free access to all the videos since you are in my class. So that's a little bit about BrainPop. Um, go ahead and create your accounts and play around on BrainPop a little bit and let me know if you have any questions.